The next speaker is the Honorable Albert. Thank you, House Speaker. Um, House Chairperson and Speaker. Parliament is an important and an august institution wherein we, as representatives of various constituencies, have a duty to bring orderly debate and rational thought to bear to properly serve our constituencies as well as those people who did not necessarily vote for us. Unfortunately, this parliament has since 2009 started to descend into a new creature, not one of noble stature and democracy, but one of disrespect towards each other in general. The flak van debatte wordt alu swakker aangesien daar enerseits nie meer aggeslaan word op wat ons vir mekaar sê nie, en anderseits omdat die paar minute wat partijen tot hulle beskikking het meestal gebruik word om vernederende skelwoorde na mekaar te slinger en in klankgrepe ook bekende soundbites te praat. Die feit dat die aans jou soveel tyd kry om te praat terwyl ander partijen sy tyd verskraal word tot drie minute of minder dra ook hiertoe by. Het is tijd om die formule waar volgens praat uit ingedeel word meer rechtvaardig te maak. Het is disconcerting dat die invective among MP's have now escalated from witty soundbites that may even contain some tongue-in-cheek humor to outright name-calling, swearing and threats to individual persons. Acts of overt racism have become the order of the day. This cannot be condoned and Parliament must rectify its path to bring mutual respect back to the members of Parliament. A further matter that deserves attention is the oversight role of Parliament. Parliament is constitutionally mandated to perform an oversight function over the executive and for an important moment in history neglected to do precisely that during the Nkandla saga where the then President Zuma was protected at all costs by members of the ruling party. When the winds of change started blowing suddenly within the ANC, it performed an about turn and went for the queue in the state capture matters. We are most certainly in agreement with Parliament's newfound focus on holding the executive to account, but why was it necessary to get to this point via the mechanisms of internal change within the ANC? This is not how Parliament is supposed to function. Nadat ons hierdie kruin bereik het, wil ons het beroep doen dat die Parlement op die minste sal bly functioneer soos nou, maar toch dat daar ook nog meer nauwkeurig gewerk sal word om die uitvoerende gesag verantwoordbaar te hou. Dit is in die hele landse belang dat parlementslede, selfs al verteenwoordig mens die regerende partij, hulle verantwoordelijkheid in die verband sal besef en nakom. Lastly, we wish to thank the parliamentary personnel for their hard work and support in sometimes, in, in sometimes very volatile and abnormal circumstances in parliament. We also wish to advise that no member of parliament may treat any personnel indifferently or otherwise with disrespect as this institution cannot function without you. When we express our gratitude, we extend it to all the parliamentary workers, from the cleaning personnel to the librarians. We notice your hard work. Thank you.